Hi, I'm Roger. Thank you for joining me in my own little kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a very tasty dish called creamy lemon garlic shrimp. And you serve that over pasta. You want to use some kind of long pasta, linguine, spaghetti, fettuccine, any of those. So I have my shrimp thought out. I use frozen shrimp. I use the uncooked frozen shrimp that's already peeled and deveined. Once it thaws out, I take off the little tail sections that they leave. So it's thawed out. It's been patted dry for the most part. I'm going to be adding about a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper into this. Mix that up. Now I have this pan heating up. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to put these in there in a single layer. I'm going to get that oil throughout the pan. This is one of those dishes that you have to move quickly with because shrimp cook very quickly. Just enough room. In the little saucepan behind it, I have one cup of heavy whipped cream that's been simmering. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon zest. And about a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you like it a little hotter than that, by all means, add more. And again, you want this on low heat just to simmer until it reduces a little bit. The water is boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add in the fettuccine. I'm going to add in about a half pound. It's just going to be for my wife and I. I left them long. I did not break it in half. For a dish like this, you want the longer pasta. You always want to stir your pasta when you put it into hot water, just to make sure that it doesn't stick. You don't want to overcook the shrimp. So the bottoms of it are just starting to get pink. I want to watch this very closely. I'm going to start turning the shrimp now. Also, while I'm doing that, I have three cloves of garlic that are minced. I'm going to put that in, mix it up with the shrimp as I'm flipping them. And as you can see, this side for the most part is gray, but this side is pink. That's the color you want. That's the color you want. Let's stir this sauce a little bit back here. It's reducing nicely. As it reduces, it's going to get thick. Also, I have to add some cheese and butter to this, so it's going to thicken up even more but I do that off heat. Let me stir the pasta again. Alright, 
I have some foil here. I don't want the shrimp to overcook. Put it on the foil. You don't want to just dump the pan because you want to keep the juice that's in there intact. We'll put this pan on low until we need to use it again. Close the foil packet up so that the shrimp maintains its, its warmth. You want to wrap it tightly to make sure you're keeping all the steam and the heat in there. You don't want the shrimp to dry out. The heavy cream is pretty well reduced, maybe by about a third. Off heat, you want to add four tablespoons of butter. I cut it into slices so that it melts easier. And a cup of Parmesan or Romano cheese that's been grated. And you whisk that in until everything's incorporated and melted. You can see how that's thickened up even more since I've added the cheese. Before I drain the pasta, I want to save one cup of pasta water to add to the sauce in case the sauce gets too thick. Now I'll drain the pasta and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to add the pasta back into the pan that I kept warm. I'm going to toss it in the garlic oil that's there. And as you notice, the little pieces of garlic have not turned brown because I did not overcook it. And you can see the noodles are shiny. So what you do now is you take the sauce Pour all of that deliciousness on it. Add two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to turn this up a little bit to thicken the sauce. I'm going to put the shrimp back in. In just a minute, let me get the sauce heated a little bit more. You can see how it's coating the noodles. Now I'll add the shrimp back in, along with any juices that they had. Mix them in with the pasta. Let them come back up to a, a warm temperature. Sprinkle it with two tablespoons of fresh parsley that's been chopped. You can also do this on each individual plate if you want. And 
And there you have it. Creamy lemon shrimp and a garlic sauce with pasta. I'm going to dish it up. And now, I'm going to eat. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is Roger in my own little kitchen. <laughs>